Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we have a charity shop haul for you. Uh, I picked up a few items to resell, of course. And without further ado, we will get on with this and I will share with you the first item. So first off, I got this uh, very kind of well-known uh, leaf design plate. A lot of people will have seen these before. I've had these numerous times from the auction houses. This one was one pound from a charity shop. The only reason I picked it up really was because it was a pound. I wouldn't really pick this up for any more than that. Now I've had a lot of these in the past and I've been able to get varying prices for them. Sometimes I've sold them singly for around the 10 to 15 pound per plate. It depends on the time of course and, and what the prices are like. Sometimes you can get more like 15 quid, sometimes more like a tenner. You can also sell these in, in job lots. Now it depends on whether they're unmarked or whether they're Wedgwood or whatever as they are um, but even like the unmarked ones you used to be able to get for sort of a set of six or a set of eight about 60 quid now i don't know whether that's come down more so recently or whether it's similar it may have come down slightly but i can't see it coming down like loads or anything like that um so yeah for a quid i was all over that i don't know whether i'm gonna sell it singularly or wait for some more i mean just, you know, going around the charity shops and things like that, I, I don't know whether I'll actually be able to find any more of these anytime soon. Um, so it might just be that I sell it singly and maybe I get around the tenner for it, obviously. I'd have to double check on completed and sold just to see if that sort of price level is still coming in. Um, but yeah, that's that one there anyway. So next we had some uh, pool pottery seals. Now I have got two of these um, and this one was 150 here. Now personally, I don't really like the blue pool pottery like this. Obviously the more common one or, or the more well-known one that people uh, know and see straight away is the dolphins. Um, and you know, I'm, I've never really been into these sort of things. They're not really that valuable. They never really have been that valuable on eBay, at least for quite a long time. Um, and yeah, these are coming in for the pair and probably be, be looking about 15 pound plus post on these, you know, they're okay. And I can see why someone would like them on the shelf as a little bit of decor. Um, but personally, I'm not too fond of them. But for £1.50 in the charity shop, I was going to pick them up because there's some money in them. So, yeah, that's those two there. I'll just whack those down there. Uh, next, we've got this Lego Racers 8193. Uh, brand new and sealed, £2.50 uh, Lego set from 2010. So, yeah, brand new and sealed Lego in the charity shop. I'm always going to be all over that, especially if it's a retired set. So, I looked on completing sold in the charity shop. I did have a little bit of signal, and I couldn't see any brand new and sealed on there. I saw quite a few uh, sort of pre-owned and I think they had gone for maybe just less than a tenner there might have been one or two that had gone for around a tenner um, so obviously you'd suspect that, that maybe pricing new and sealed 15 pound maybe at a push 20 quid um, but you know what I'm going to do with this I'm actually going to put it in my Lego investments down here and when I come to do a kind of stock check on my Lego in a few months time possibly around Christmas time I will obviously see this one in one of the boxes and I'll think, oh, actually, yeah, I may as well sell that now. So uh, that's what I'm going to do with that one. I'm not going to put it on immediately. But yeah, that's that one there. Next, we have a lovely little find, actually. It's a, a brand new sealed in the box, uh, Yahtzee game, and it's from 2004. I paid $1.99 for it. You may be able to see there. And the only reason I picked it up was because it was new in box. I've never seen this one new in box, I don't think. I may have seen it of course online and stuff but i've never seen it sort of in the flesh in a charity shop or car boot or anything like that um so i was intrigued and i thought there's probably a bit of money in that and i was right one has sold on buy it now they did actually accept an offer the original price was 24 pound 90 the offer price that they accepted is probably going to be around the 20 pound so yeah i'm going to put this on buy it now for most probably 25 pound uh, best offer and uh, we will hope to get £25, but if I don't get £25, I'll probably get around £20. So yeah, for £1.99 into £20 or £25, I was very much happy with that. There is also one uh, listed on auction currently, and the current bid is £9 plus postage. So I do know that there is at least some money in it, even, let's say, on auction. 
So yeah, that's that one there. Uh, next, I got some lovely little silver plate goblets. Now, I looked at these on the shelf and I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll check them out on eBay. I'll check silver plate goblets out on eBay, see what we go for. Anyway, I saw underneath uh, that it had the name Falstaff on there. Now, you're probably not going to be able to see that, I don't think. But it does have Falstaff on the bottom there in the middle. Uh, and six of them, there is six of them on the table, were stickered up at £2.50. So £2.50 for the six. And you know what? I thought, oh, Falstaff. I've had that before, silver plate. I've had it numerous times. And, you know, it's a nice little bread and butter silver plate bland. Now, of course, there are certain things from Falstaff that aren't bread and butter, that are more than bread and butter value. But a lot of the things are nice kind of solid bread and butter items. So I thought, you know what, there's probably going to be some value in these then. And I type it in. And I have actually seen, I, I can't remember whether this was sold or whether it was listed, but there was either one listed or sold for $29.99. Now, of course, there's different variations on these goblets. goblets. They're not all the same exact one. And that's what you come across with collectibles and antiques all the time on Complete and Sold. It can be quite hard to find the exact one. I've mentioned it numerous times before. And uh, But anyway, I thought to myself, you know what? There was another lot sold for sort of 20 quid. And I thought there's definitely some money in these. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to price these up at. Maybe a good kind of mid price is 25 quid. Maybe not 30 quid, maybe not 20 quid, but 25 quid on the on the six of these. I'll just hold a, a few a few more of them up for you. They're all the same design anyway. Um, but yeah, nice looking little items, a nice little set. Lovely items to deal with, it, well, at least in my opinion. And um, yeah, possibly 25 quid on those. So they were, they were really cool. Uh, oh, yeah, we have got one more item. Well, actually, we've got three more items, but it's all the same item. Uh, for £1.50, I was intrigued by these. Now, these are something I wouldn't necessarily normally think to research. I'd probably just look at them and think, oh, yeah, right, okay, that's that, and then walk off and look at some other section, like the toy section, the game section, or whatever. Um, but I saw these photo albums, brand new and sealed, for £1.50 each. Uh, they by a company called Hammer, I believe is how you pronounce that. And you know what? I, I thought, let's research them. They're brand new and sealed, and that's good because I, I like dealing with items that are brand new and sealed. So I researched them, and I saw on Complete and Sold, each of these albums go in for a tenner. There was some on there for sort of £9.62, and then there was some of the exact same item, sort of with stock images, uh, selling for just over a tenner. So I thought, you know what, £1.50, I'm going to pick those up. Now, whether I do them as a bundle or whether I just sell them on like a multi-listing with free quantity for around a tenner, I'm not certain at the moment. It might be okay to do a bundle. I mean, someone might want free photo albums. That, that could be the case. Um, or it might be better to, as I say, do them singly. I'm not sure. Um, but still, whatever the case is there, there's some decent money in them. Um, and yeah, for £1.50, I was going to be all over them. So that is the, I'll just show you the free there. That is the free there. Um, so yeah, that is everything. I don't think there's anything else to show you. Um, there's probably, what, five, six, seven items there that, that I got. Uh, it was a little bit of a lesser haul uh, this time around the charity shops. This was, of course, from all one kind of run around the charity shops. Um, that's what, as I say, I've tried to do. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do the hauls. Uh, based on when I do a charity shop run. So I'll do a charity shop run and whatever I get from that charity shop run, I'll do a haul for. Provided that I've at least got two or three items and then it can be a shorter video. And if I've got 10 items or 15 items, it can be a longer video. Um, but yeah, you know, for one run around the charity shops, it wasn't incredibly poor. It wasn't incredibly brilliant. It was just kind of somewhere in between. Um, but yeah, still nice, and I'm still managing to pick up some items from the charity shops, which I am actually surprised at, because sometimes in the past, um, especially when I was doing full-time reselling, it got to a point where I was just exhausting the, the charity shops, I, I just couldn't find anything there. But even for the last four or five weeks, around just my normal local charity shops, I've been still able to find things. So that's a good, that is a good sign, actually. And I don't know whether that's to do with COVID, with the fact that maybe some people now, things are opening up, they're having a clear out, they're getting some stuff out of the house because 
Obviously, we've been accumulating loads of stuff over COVID, everyone buying online, all these different things. And now people are thinking, oh, maybe I should get rid of that. So yeah, whatever the case is, I don't know. It might be that COVID's having an effect and maybe just boosting the charity shops up a little bit. Uh, with, as I say, people getting rid of stuff. With that being said, I'll leave it there. I won't ramble anymore. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So don't forget, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. If you like the video, then please do give it a like. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.